Life is a trap. Right. Food stamps is a trap. Right. This the government system is a trap. Right. And they are hid in prison houses. They hid where? In prison houses. They hid in prison houses. That's because right. This government is set up to make us go to prison. Right. Get out. Right. right. In the hood, they be like, oh, you didn't. If you didn't go to prison, you didn't earn your stripes. No. What kind of mentality is that? But the people, the brothers in prison, be like, this is not a place to go. But our youngsters be like, nah, I ain't gonna listen to the old folks. Y'all don't know about it. Y'all ain't out here still, so we still gonna go commit these crimes so we can end up in prison and do life. You got these rappers that got money are ending up in prison. Yeah. Kodak Black just just got to, uh, went to prison again. Kodak Black for being on fentanyl, for, for breaking his probation. See how we snared on these traps because we're not following God's laws. Read. And they are hid in prison houses. They are, they are for a prey and none delivery. Who go, who delivering you out of that prison house? You go, you got if you ain't got a lawyer because you ain't got enough money, who they give you? A public defender, right? The public defender is not for your health. Right. They for the court system. And guess what those lawyers do at lunchtime? They talk to each other. They lie to each other. Yeah. They know they know they ain't gonna help you. Right? Read. For a spoil and none say restore. None say restore. Do they say we need to restore the black community and the Hispanic community? Are they, they saying that? They saying restore the black community? No, not. No, they they doing gentrification. Yeah. They planning guns into the hood so we can continue to shoot each other. They're planning the drugs in the community so we can continue to sell to each other. Right. That's right. Where's the restore at? Are they giving us reparations? That's a restore. Yeah. They, they they ripping Africa. They raping Africa's minerals and everything. Right. They're taking all the money yeah. or all the all those resources. Right. So are they restoring it back? No, but there is going to be a rest, uh, restoration. There is going to be a restoring when Christ returns. That's right. They're going to have to return back everything. Right. Oh. But in order to reap those benefits, what do you have to do, Mr. Uh, Robert? You say Robert? No, no, my name is Richard. Richard, Mr. Richard. What you got to do, Mr. Richard, if if you want to be a part of that that uh, restoration? No. Give me a uh, Acts 5, 531. Nope. How you gonna be a part of that restoration? You gotta keep following the commandments. Following the commandments is gonna get you that restoration. That's right. Read. Acts chapter 5 and verse 31. Yo. Him have God exalted with his right hand to be a prince and a savior. For to give repentance to Israel. To give repentance to Israel. That's part of our restoration to come back to Christ so we can get the kingdom of heaven. Right. Part of that. Is more? Read. And forgiveness of sins. And forgiveness of the sins because Christ died so you can repent and keep your beard on and put fringes on and be pork shrimp crab lobster. Eat pork. Eat pork. Mainly what I eat noodles. Noodles and noodles. Noon is the tuna. You uh, spread, right? You make you some spread for I can eat that seven days a week. Seven days a week. Because you, you was trained in prison to eat noodles, right? Uh -huh. And that's what you was eating in, in the pen? Was sometime. It, sometime. The top ramen? Yeah, I'm working in the kitchen, man. Okay, right. But don't eat nothing unlawful. Pig is unlawful. Right. Uh, catfish is unlawful. Right. Uh, 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 cr uh, crabs is unlawful. Right. Crawfish is unlawful. Right. Shrimp is unlawful. That's right. Oysters is unlawful. Right. Okay, good. But you gotta get your beard. That's you gotta right. don't shave your head bald. Put on fringes. Keep the Sabbath day holy. Right. What images? You know what the image of Christ looks like? Because it said Christ came to give repentance to all Israel. That's part of that restoration. So, which Christ is coming back? Is it the one on your left or the one on your right? You think you think it's long and long and hard for this one? Which one is Christ? 
You think it's the left one, right? Okay, you think it's the left one. Which one have they showed you is Jesus Christ? They showed you the white one, right? Do you think that's the right Jesus Christ? Not really, man. Not really, no, okay. No, and then again, you know, I, I try not to. You don't want to ruffle the feathers? I try, no, it ain't that. It just, I ain't. Say it, go ahead, be playing. I ain't trying to, I ain't trying to go in, in, in the color thing. Oh, not in the color thing. Okay, okay. So, did the so-called white man say, nah, I don't, just because they black, I'm not going to put them in slavery? They put us in slavery. Yeah. They didn't give a damn. They knew we was black, brown, and all different colors of black and brown, and they put us in slavery because why? They hate us. That's right. So they did care what color we are. Right. And you said you grew up during slavery, and you grew up during the time where you said you had to go in the back of the bus. Did they care? They cared where the word you said. Yeah, yeah. yeah. In the back. They yeah. did. They said, uh uh. No, nigga. You gonna sit in the back, right? Right. 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 So they did care, right? So the so called white man did put it. They uh, said, y'all are black. We are white. And we're supposed to be separated. That's right. But you know that's in the Bible that we all supposed to be separated? Yeah. Give me Exodus 11 and 7. No, no. Because there is a difference between us and the other nations. Because in the Bible, who did God save out of Egypt? Go! Go! Who did God take out of Egypt? He took the Egyptians as well, or just the nation of Israel? Yeah. He only took the nation of Israel. That's right. He destroyed the Egyptians. Yeah, we had some strangers among us. He went to save the nation of Israel. Read. Exodus chapter 11 and verse 7. No. But against any of the children of Israel. Any against the children of Israel. Shall not a dog move his tongue against man or beast. That ye may know how that the Lord doth put a difference between the Egyptians and Israel. See that? The Lord put a difference between the Egyptians and Israel. That's right. So God put a difference between the other nations and Israel. That's just one, in that context, that's talking about Egypt. But when you read through the scriptures, the gates of heaven, how many gates are, are there into heaven? Is it one gate or is it many gates? How many? Okay, so give me Revelation. 21, what is it, 21? And he said he's a deacon. You a deacon? Yeah. Are you teaching your congregation this? No. I just got ordained. Oh, you just got ordained. Okay, okay. Read. Revelation chapter 21 and verse 12. Go. And had a wall, great and high, and had 12 gates. How many? And had 12 gates. How many? 12 gates. How many? 12. What do you think the 12 gates is for? Look it out. Yeah. All right. You don't know. Just say you don't know. See, that's the thing. The Christianity is not teaching us anything. Christianity, what have you learned in Christianity? What, what made you become, what ordained you to become a deacon? How'd you, how'd you get into that position? I was not helping to save people. Right. So the counselor told me she wanted me to look up my background and history. Okay. So I chose to look up my dad's side. Okay. I already knew about my mom's side. All right. So on my dad's side, it said. So how did that church that you went put you in the position of a deacon? I went to did you did you have to just do an interview? No. I went to preach the congregation two years. Okay. Went to the deacon book. Went the deacon book and then they put you as a deacon, right? Yeah, they voted. They voted you in, but. 
But you don't know how many gates there is to the kingdom of heaven? Who is this Bible for? So you don't even know that? You got to know these things to be a, become a leader, to be a deacon. You understand that? So they, so the Christianity is just placing people in position and they don't really have no understanding of the Bible. That's right. Right? So look, check it out. Keep reading. And at the gates, 12 angels. 12 angels for each gate. 12 gates. Read. And names written thereon, which are the names of the 12 tribes of the children of Israel. So the kingdom of heaven has 12 gates for the 12 tribes of the of children of Israel. That's right. So it doesn't have those other nations on those gates. Right. Right. So those other nations are not going to go into the kingdom of heaven to be rulers. Oh. Because each gate will have a name on there. Judah, Benjamin, right. Levi. Right. That's who Christ came because we read earlier. Remember, Christ died and to give repentance and forgiveness of sins to Israel. Right. right.